Oh, hey guys, didn't uh, know you were listening. Uh, you listen to podcasts for. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's start again. How, how do I sound first? How do I Good. sound? Good. Just. You sound lovely, Joe, okay? Okay. Sounds fine. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll mute my. Silence, please. I'm, I'm quiet. Hey guys, you listen to podcast for four. I'm your host Lou Truman, and today I'm joined by the fabulous John Hello. and the fantastic Joe. Hi, good to be here. <laughs> Why am I fabulous? Why can't I be fantastic? You want to be fantastic? The yeah. fantastic John and the fabulous Joe. So, fabulous does sound a little bit feminine. I I want to be fantastic. No, I'm fantastic. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're gonna move on to the main topic for today. We're talking about a recent sun flare, which is, um, uh, it's been a bit more violent than usual, um, apparently because it's been so quiet for the last few years, and scientists are predicting that it's gonna really pick up in the next year or so. Um, what do you guys think about this? Go on, Jim. It's the same with a lot of things, though, isn't it? Like, even with volcanoes, if nothing goes on for a long time, you've got to be worried about it because it's going to fuck shit up when it does go mm. on. It just... But our, our sun is pretty much unstable anyway. It's like, well, I, wouldn't, I say unstable, it's like an unstable point of a star's <clears> life, <throat> you know? It's get, it always sets off loads of flares and shit, but like you said, a bit where it's been quiet and now it's apparently going to pick up. Uh, yeah, John. Um, well, I don't think there's anything to worry about, really. I mean, how long have we been on Earth and been aware of the sun doing flares and stuff? So I don't think we'd have that much of a problem with it. The most it's ever done is like distort telephone lines and just cut off power, which is nothing compared to like losing our skin because of some dastardly radiation. <laughs> it's true. So, I don't think. If if it does cause any problems, they're not going to be severe. You know, it's not going to be so bad. They're not just going to start growing fur arms. You know, there's no. Oh, I don't think even if it went extreme, I don't think it would do that. I think, you know, I think the most it do is burn us. I don't think it causes you to grow a third arm. Uh, it's got loads of radiation as well, don't it? Yeah, my eyelids. Um. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, you guys are right. We probably don't have nothing to worry about for a few million years, at at, at most. I don't know. Well, we won't have to worry about nothing then. Let them worry about it in a million years' time. What's the, what's the worst that we we can expect in the next year or so? Do you think? Probably okay. just like, like I said, like power cuts, interference with satellite TVs. Just like interference on loads of stuff, and maybe, uh, just like hot, I don't know, maybe it'll make it a bit hotter. I have no idea. I'm not a scientist, or like the uh, northern lights of the aurora borealis, which is coming further south than it usually is, but I don't see that's a bad thing. The why? Um, well, I mean, you're saying it, it can cut off, um, powers, uh, connections, uh, on the satellites, it can like disable them. Joe, uh, jo, do you think this is a bad thing? Because I mean, we, as you, as we all know, we're becoming very dependent on communication. It's become a huge part of society in in, in the recent decades. Do you think, um, you know, it's something we should worry about if if our communications fail? Uh, well, it it could cut the power, like you said, but I don't think it cut power for long. It shouldn't shouldn't cut it out for so long. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it should be repairable. Should be. Yeah, well, yeah, of course, and we are dependent on electronics, and it's going to cause some disruption if it happens, but it's not going to last for years. You know, it'll probably last for at most a few hours or maybe a day or so, I guess. But none of this is scientific fact. You know, I'm just talking from my speculating. Yeah, yeah. But I guess it's nice to speculate. Um, so that's basically. Uh, anything else you guys want to throw into this? I, don't know what I mean, um. Share this website, the uh, hazard warning thing. So if uh, you ever wonder if it's like a meteor strike or an ep- epidemic hazard, a flood, an airplane crash, I don't know if I've already said that. Yeah, but it basically shows where shit's going down. Yeah, so... So uh, let's just find, if you guys just have a look around. Um, 
yeah, we will link this in the video below, so you can click click the link and listen to the podcast as you're looking around. Obviously, you're not going to see the same things as us, depending on when you're watching it, because um, yeah, this is this you. is on real time, isn't it, John? Yeah, it is real time. I, I'll answer for him. He sounds preoccupied. Okay. Um, so, Joe, just have a look around. I mean, do you see anything well, that stands out at the moment? At the moment, there's nothing in Africa, pretty much. There's some wind. Why is that? Why is there nothing in Africa? Is it because <laughs> no one is reporting anything? or? I don't know, man. There's just nothing. It's, it, it, sometimes shows, it sometimes shows some shit, but there's a lot of biological hazards about, I guess, like epidemics. It always seems every time I've been on this website, um, America has the most airplane accidents. It always seems to be the one that's you know suffering. Yeah, they're always incidents, but I don't think they're all crashes. And that always seems to be uh, the most earthquakes you seem to see on this is um, on the west coast of America, Alaska, and the Balkans, which is weird. I mean, that's that's because of many reasons though that's Teutonic, all geographical yeah, shit Teutonic plates am I right you're yeah. the historic there's a, there's a, there's a, yeah I'm a geographer <laughs> there's there's tectonic plates running down the west coast of America and they slide along each other which causes a lot of mini earthquakes down there yeah there's an um, event in space in China at the moment let me s- yeah I don't I'm just, I don't know what that means let's check the details um Electromagnetic storm affected shortwave radio communication. So the the solar flare has actually affected something in China. Uh, it doesn't seem damage level is two out of five. So it's nothing serious. I mean, it's early days, but uh, that shouldn't frighten anyone, should it? What was uh, it? John, we're just uh, checking out oh. the real time damage. There's been an event in China. Um, electromagnetic uh, failure. A flare has called oh, radio communica- uh, shortwave radio communication. Yeah, could that be due to the solar flare we were talking about earlier? Most, like, most okay. probably, because it happened our time, which is GMT. It happened about half one, like almost two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So, I'm not sure where the sun would be. It'd sort of be near Australia and China way anyway. By yeah. Then. So it's possible that could be what it was. So there you go. Oh, that's, that's it, amazing. It fucked up some shortwave radio signals, so nothing that serious. There's more, obviously there's flash floods uh, near Victoria, Melbourne, so forth. In Australia. Yeah. Um, there's one, I think, in Southern America. Let me just check it out. Uh, yeah. What country is that? It's Peru? Peru. Yeah, Peru. An epidemic hazard in Peru as well. Okay. Nothing serious seems to be going on at the moment, to be honest. There was an as- asteroid impact yesterday. Oh yeah, that was that was <laughs> in uh, Yorkshire. That was the only one, wasn't it? That's amazing, man. <laughs> it's hit home, man. Wow. Sick. The biggest, oh. the biggest earthquakes I'm seeing are like 4.1, 3.7 magnitudes. I'm sure, because I remember looking at it in a geography lesson once. There's a website similar to this that show where all the earthquakes are happening at real time and like basically Richter scale readings all over the world where they are and stuff. Yeah. I'll try and find it if for next time because for now I probably won't find it in time. All right, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Um, there's extreme weather in Cornwall, South Devon. It's... So be careful if you're going out there. <laughs> yeah, be careful. You never know. People could be listening to this three years <laughs> in three years' time, and they're planning a trip to to Cornwall. And they're like, "Fuck, let's not go. Let's not go." I think something serious going on. Oh wow, there's an um, an earthquake in Saint Helens. That's an island, isn't it? Um, off the coast of uh, west coast of Africa, it's a 5.2 magnitude. Isn't that because it's um, there's a massive fault in the middle Atlantic Ocean? Uh, yeah, there is. There's the I forgot what it's called. I'm feeling embarrassed. That I forgot what it's called. Is it the it's fault line? No, it's, it's not a fault line. The mid Atlantic mid Atlantic Ridge, I think. 
if there's any uh, geographical buffs, can you correct Joe in the comments below, please? Just to humiliate him. Um, if he's wrong, I would very much appreciate that. <laughs> there's an earthquake in Albania, 2.9. That's just a reading. <coughs> they felt an earthquake coming off one of the plates. Probably, where's India? Well, I mean, where's Albania? Where, where are you? I don't know where I'll be. It's by Italy. Kind of cross the water from Italy. Yeah. yeah, you see. The thing is, in geography, we learn all this stuff about rivers and earthquakes, but not where places are. Great, isn't it? There's a tornado in Bangladesh. Let's see the damage level. It's three out of five. That seems pretty intense. Um, <laughs> see, it sounds pretty average. Three out of five. Sorry, Ray, if it was in. five out of five, that'd be pretty dangerous. Um, John, can you, you were saying something about approaching f forecasts or something uh, about to hit somewhere uh, oh, Australia yeah they got a new typhoon oh, what, are, what are they called typhoons they got, a, they got a giant storm coming their way again yep storm Carlos I think it's not coming I don't think it's coming from the east coast anymore I think it's coming from the west Carlos coast Carlos and Diane alright I can't remember his name two storms coming in and there was a um, in Fiji there was an earthquake five Magnitude. Um, what was that? There was an aeroplane crash you mentioned earlier in Hawaii, John. Yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it was an aeroplane crash, but it says vehicle crash. It's got a picture of a broken plane. All right, okay. So I'm assuming it's a plane crash. And two people are missing, so they've either gone to the Lost Island or they're <laughs> in the sea dead. Oh, wow. Lost Island. Let's, let's all pray to God that. Um, wow. Pray to whoever you want, I guess, that they're fine. Uh, volcanic activity in Iceland. Oh, great. Lutheran, by the way, I just thought, maybe the website I was thinking about earlier with the live earthquake readings probably was this one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> because I've just realized all the Richter scale measurements on here. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. well. This is a pretty interesting site. Uh, it's cool to have a look at. And see Ooh, volcanic there. eruption in Japan. What melt? What Madagascar's going to have an eruption? Oh. Yeah, in Japan. How seriously? Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, that stays. Madagascar is getting a hammer, John. Fuck it, no. That's been there for days. That hasn't. Has it? What's the storm? Yeah, the storm was in Madagascar. The name of the storm is Bing Giza. Bing Giza. Yeah. How do you know the names of the storms that come up? Click on it. It's moving! Oh my gosh, it's moving. It's moving. It's not. It is. It, did you see it? It's moving. Just. <laughs> it, it's moving, dude. Maybe. Can you not see it? If we're, if we're boring any users, like listeners right now, I apologize. But we're quite into this. Website. I mean, if, they, if they're watching it as we speak, I really advise advise you if you're not if you're not doing that. It's, it'll make more sense if you're on the website. Um, it would be nice if we did this um, live, live, yeah. We should do some live ones. Holy we? fuck, yeah. there's a complex emergency in Sri Lanka. Floods and landslide. It's in multiple provinces. Um, there are 13 people dead. 13 people dead. Holy fuck. That's pretty bad, man. That's not good. No. Well, what's going on in Portugal? Vehicle accident. How <laughs> have died there? No, literally, those eruptions in Japan probably are not that bad. I mean, some some volcanoes erupt every day, man. Yeah, it's Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see a little one of these warning signs of Godzilla in Tokyo. What do you think the little <laughs> bird is on there on Japan? <laughs> what is it? The biological hazard. It's tested in you can now Godzilla's Godzilla. Oh my god, dude, there's a UFO attack in Kazakhstan. Five million people dead. I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I went to check then as well. <laughs> yeah, I was going to check. <laughs> Imagine that. Fucking hell. That would be amazing. No, it wouldn't be amazing. Um, it, it would to some extent. Not the deaths, but... Guys, I think I think we should wrap up. We've worried. got about... 10 seconds left before we hit the mark. Okay, quick, quick. Peace. Guys, we'll be back peace. soon with more podcasts. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, bye-bye.